basically headed right toward Port Sanilac now. And I'll put it and I'll stop it here for you. So again, you can see what's going on. This is likely where the tornado is in here. This hook echo inflow, strong area of uh, very, very heavy rain and hail out ahead of it as well. Here working toward Port Sanilac. But again, the winds are concerned. We'll go inside and take a peek and look at what's going on here. And we'll look at the velocity. And you want to look for those areas where the winds are very strong. Now, this storm is a long way away from the radar. And so instead of seeing the typical uh, red and green that you get a lot, you see the very intense winds right here without a lot of wind next to it. That's the indication in a kind of a different way than we normally see of the rotation here. So this is the area uh, that we're watching. We'll zoom in a little bit and see if we can help you give you an idea of what's going on with some uh, areas around there that are under the gun right now. Here's Buell and uh, Ruth Road to the north. Here's Applegate. It's headed right toward you again. This is the area of rotation of concern of this storm. And I'll track it one more time here by putting it in motion so you can see with the velocity on here how that core is kind of moving east but also a little northeast drift uh, into the area. So this is again till 345 uh, for Sanilac County, a tornado warning. This is the concern area. We'll put it back and so you can see on the radar what this typically looks like here. Uh, and you'll see that this has shifted again a little bit farther. Uh, so there's Buell to the south. You're probably okay. Here's Applegate. You're certainly under the gun. In this area, you should be taking cover immediately. I know the big storm is on top of you with a lot of heavy rain and all that action, but watching again as we see the, everything move from southwest to northeast, and we'll slide this down so you get a little bit better view here of what's going on. If you are west of the storm now, if you are west of uh, Ruth Road back here toward Cash, toward Stilson Road, west of that, you're going to be okay now. This storm's moving fast away from you, but Applegate, you should absolutely be taking cover right now. Here's Applegate Road, and you can see uh, old M51 running through Applegate as well, north and south there. So this is the area under the gun right now. A tornado looks likely to be right in here just to the southwest of Applegate, moving to the northeast at around 50 miles an hour. So it's moving fast. It'll get on you in a hurry hurry this area you've got to be taken care of. you see port sanilac farther to the northeast it will probably go close to or right along applegate road here moving from west to east and then drift a little farther north by the time it gets to the shoreline here so a tornado warning again until 345 the impacted area right now approaching applegate from the southwest this is the region of concern uh, and just to the southwest of Applegate. I'll widen this out again and put it in motion for you one more time so you can see what's going on. You see the intensity of the storm there, the line moving along. There are warnings now for northern Macomb, St. Clair, the rest of Sanilac County for severe winds up to 60 miles an hour and hail that could be up to an inch. Same idea downriver over to Romulus Metro Airport, south into Monroe County. And that is a concern as well for the same idea of the winds and also the uh, hail that could be a, a, an inch or so. I'm going to stop it real quick here and uh, let you know what's going on in some of these areas a little bit farther south. We'll, uh, we'll zoom in here and uh, let's see here, box in. And I'll show you what's happening in this area because some of these storms have actually moved a little bit farther east. So here's a uh, southern part of Wayne County. That storm has drifted up into the Windsor area. Still, though, in Monroe County, very intense storm right along the shore down toward Monroe to Luna Pier. So another 15 minutes or so, these are going to be out of the county offshore. In this area right now, you certainly need to be taking care and staying away from windows, getting inside and being aware of the situation around you. Let it pass. It's doing that quickly, then you'll be all right. Here's another look now. Again, the tornado warning until 345. Port Sanilac, you should be very much aware of the situation. It's coming toward you. We'll zoom in a little bit. I'll put it in motion so you can see the rotation again of this storm toward the east northeast as we go along. Now, there's some indication here, this last shot, which is good. It's a little bit more diffuse, not quite as steady as the uh, structure looked before. We'll zoom in a little bit more and show you what's happening uh, in this area so you can see. But right in this region here, we're looking for the uh, inflow and the updraft in Applegate. You should be taking cover for sure in that area. Uh, you can see on the left hand side here, away from windows, away from glass, the smallest room on the lowest level is always, always the best place to be. So Applegate under the gun right now. I'm going to show you the velocity. We'll look inside here again and see if we can tell it's a, a little bit less 
Well, still got a pretty good bullseye right in here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Applegate again, Applegate Road, old M51, and this area right in here, kind of two parts, that region and right in Applegate right now, some very intense winds. So taking cover, staying safe, making sure your friends and family know that you're okay, uh, but do not be going outside to look at this storm yourself. This is a very dangerous situation as it works its way kind of from west, southwest to east, northeast. If it stays together with the rotation, obviously that's not good, but the center of the core, one of uh, the storm, one way or another, is moving along Applegate Road and then probably propagates north of that a little bit as we go along. I'll put it back into uh, radar so you can see what we're used to here and take a peek at what this looks like. All the lightning and thunder, of course, is there. Probably some very large hail now, too, from Applegate farther to the northeast on the south side of Port Sanilac. Uh, that's working into your area right now. But 345 is the time that we'll call this off. That's another 14 minutes or so. The storm is moving fast. Again, it looks a little less organized uh, as before, which is very good news, but we still have the warning here. If you remember about a week and a half ago, we had the warning in uh, northwest part of Oakland County. It was a problem and then it started to weaken, but it was a confirmed tornado the next day. And so this is a concern, even though it looks less organized to me, uh, I still want to tell you in Applegate, especially uh, from Croswell to Applegate, a little farther north, and then working its way toward Port Sanilac and just south of that down the shoreline. Very intense storm now, still could have some rotation, still could be a tornado. You notice that the back edge of this tornado warning was dropped. We talked about that when we came on the air. Uh, out here toward Cash, you were under the warning before. Now you're not. It's because the movement of the storm is from west to east. But the fact that the warning still stands for the area under the gun here and farther to the west uh, tells you that you got to be concerned here. You got to be smart and taking care. So that bright red area, that bright red box is the tornado warning just north of Roach Road as it gets to the shoreline here. In Lexington, you're going to be okay. You're going to get hit by thunderstorms, but not this rotating part. Croswell, you're probably all right as well. Applegate's under the gun right now. And from Port Sanilac southward, intensity of this storm is picking up. Uh, large hail certainly could be in the area here with extremely heavy rain and the very strong winds. But the rotation area is now here around Applegate. We'll zoom in a little bit more here uh, so you can see what's going on. But just around this area, uh, Old 51, right in this region here on the south side of Applegate is where the rotation looks to be the strongest. Uh, when we looked inside there and saw some of the winds and the velocity, uh, that's where they were the strongest as well. So taking cover, making sure that you're waiting for this storm to go by in the Applegate area and then again all the way up toward uh, the shoreline here in the central and northern part, southern part of Sanilac County. Lexington, you're okay. I'll back it out a little bit here so you can see what's going on. Lexington, you're okay, uh, but up toward uh, other areas, it looks like we're going to have to be concerned about this for a little while, including Port Sanilac. So very intense activity there. A little farther back in the Applegate was where we see the winds being strong. This is moving, <coughs> excuse me, again very fast at about 50 miles an hour, and that's the only good thing about this storm right now. Uh, so hopefully that will help. Very intense lightning, very strong winds there. Other clusters of storms now have moved out of northern Macomb County. So it's really St. Clair, Sanilac County under the gun. Lapeer County, the warning's still up there for you, uh, but it's moved east now as well. That's the good thing again about the movement of the storms. We'll stop this and then I'll slide a little farther south and show you what's happening. Um, as we go down into the Detroit area because these storms have mostly uh, moved through the region now and we'll zoom in on around Detroit and show you what's happening here. Uh, the city is really not under a big threat right now. There's some heavy rain on the east side and that's moving out over the lake. But then farther to the south, we still have the warnings here in uh, northern uh, sections, uh, well, eastern Monroe, uh, right along the shoreline here. You can see a very intense cluster. The river's coming down here, uh, meeting Lake Erie. This is a warning area from there back to the west, just about 275 in Telegraph, those areas and eastward. So it's the far eastern part of uh, Monroe County. Uh, there is a warning there until uh, 345. So the storms will get out over the lake and move away, and that's good news. A very strong storm in Toledo will hang around Luna Pier for a little while as well. So warnings in this area are about 
uh, the strong winds to 60 miles an hour and perhaps some larger hail. So you got to take cover and stay in that direction, uh, stay in your safe spot there as well. But especially here in the area of uh, Sanilac County for the tornado warning that goes until 345. So again, you see that the back half of this, the west half of this has been taken off and I'll put this into motion so you can see the, mo uh, the storm coming in. It certainly looked more organized and more intense a little bit ago, uh, but staying vigilant is a really important thing. It's 3.36, so another nine minutes or so. Uh, we can do that together, and I'll put the velocity on here, and you'll be able to see, again, the core. It looks different than what we've been telling you about uh, because of the fact that it's so far away from the radar. But this is the area of main concern of the strongest winds now just to the southwest of uh, Port Sanilac. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We'll get some streets on here so you can see what's happening, some crossroads with very intense winds in this area right in here. Still Applegate and to the east, the coupling, if you will, here with the very bright colors, the dark colors. It's kind of like when we talk about the red and green being next to each other, but because the storm is so far away, it's a little bit different. But this area coming out of Applegate, crossing around Applegate Road and kind of heading to the north a little bit more. I'll slide this down so you can see. Uh, what we're doing here with uh, Port Sanilac, but this is the area uh, of a main concern right now for the strongest winds still around Applegate, uh, working its way a little bit f farther away from uh, Slory Road here and or working its way to the east-northeast. But fast movement on the storm is good, but still not clear yet, especially Port Sanilac down the coast to Applegate Road, uh, this area back to the west where the winds are very strong and still show signs of circulation here. Uh, last scan on the radar, it was around Applegate. The scan before that just to the southwest, now trying to work a little bit farther to the northeast, but again, headed toward Port Sanilac, so uh, not good news there. Everybody in this area should be taking cover, and I'll put it back into uh, radar mode so you can see what's going on here. And I'll zoom out just a little bit so you have some perspective here of what's been happening. But this is a problem for Port Sanilac, uh, down through Sink, uh, Sanilac County. Here's Lexington. You're still okay. You're getting thunderstorms to move in from your west, but you're still okay there. We'll put it into motion now, and you'll see how the storm continues to work its way east, northeast. If you watch back, I can't stop the radar at a particular time this way, but if you watch back here, a pretty strong indication of a hook and then weakening as it got into the Applegate area, still very strong and still concerned about rotation in the winds. And I'll stop it one more time here, and you'll be able to see what we're looking at now. Again, here is a pretty well-defined gap when we get a little farther out and get some perspective on the storm, uh, but that is moving more toward the coast. So uh, we'll zoom in and show you this area a little bit more detail, and you'll be able to see what's happening in here. Uh, again, Lexington, you're okay. Here's Roach Road. So from that point, you start to go a little bit north. You get toward Applegate Road. That's a problem. This is the little notch that we're looking at. Let me just pan this down a little bit so you can see a little bit better what we're talking about here. Um, this is the area that we're most concerned about now with what you want to look for is a notch like that, which will show a strong inflow and a strong updraft, and that's where tornadoes form in that part of the storm. So very heavy rain, likely some very strong hail uh, around Port Sanilac, just to the south of you. And then again, watching in this area, M25, of course, comes along the coast there and Applegate Road. That's the area of main concern right now. The storm is moving fast. It's just about to work its way off the land, out over the water here, out over the lake. Uh, but this is the concern technically until 345, which is another about five and a half minutes or so uh, for this area. Tornado warning in effect, Port Sanilac and to the south here in Lexington uh, area, you're okay. But Port Sanilac to the south in the central part of Sanilac County, a tornado warning until 345, which is about another five, five and a half minutes or so as we go. This is the storm uh, that is the main concern. I want to take another peek here at the whole area and show you that things are breaking up a bit on the south, which is good. Uh, it's just this very east sliver of Monroe County, technically under a warning, uh, but you're still in pretty good shape. As a matter of fact, uh, I will stop this here and zoom down there just a second. I do want to show you uh, this area uh, around the tornado warning. Let's see here, we can do that. And then around the tornado warning to the south, still some very strong storms in St. Clair County. Uh, the warning goes until 345 for this area. Might be extended a little bit longer till 4 o'clock as these storms move through with very strong winds, uh, likely to 60 miles an hour in hail that could be up to an inch. 
That's about both of those situations when you start to get damage with trees, power lines, hail can be car windows, so siding, that kind of a stuff as well. So that is one spot. And then if we go farther south, there's some there's some better news, uh, it looks like, in Monroe County. So we'll, we'll zoom out, first of all, and take you a little farther south and show you what's going on here. Uh, in Monroe County, things are moving fast enough uh, that looks like they're really getting improvements now. I told you a little bit ago it was I-275 or I-75 in the uh, Telegraph Road area, and now it's just along the shoreline here, Luna Pier up through uh, Stony Point and then up here toward Newport. So it's moving out to the east, northeast pretty quickly. Windsor, you're certainly under the gun. Uh, Leamington, uh, LaSalle, these areas, Essex too, as it comes toward you from the west-southwest, they're likely to be severe areas in the uh, southwest part of Ontario, so be aware of that as well. But pretty soon we'll get a dropping of this warning in Monroe County as the storms are just now moving offshore. And again, that's not nearly as strong as the situation that we have up here in uh, Sanilac County. So I'm uh, going to move out of the way here and kind of get this over so you can see what's going on until 3.45 Port Sanilac down here to Applegate. Applegate, you're in better situation now than you were about five, 10 minutes ago, uh, but watching the notch, which is a little harder to see, but right in here still, right along the shoreline, M25, south of Port Sanilac, if there's still very strong rotation, which there's some indication that there is, uh, this is where the storm is gonna move out over the lake. Uh, the warning will be dropped soon here. I would, it's 341, it should expire at 345 as this moves away and the part of the storm that's rotating is on the shoreline now and moving out. So things will improve and improve quite quickly in Sanilac County. We'll stay on the air here until 345 and make sure that this gets dropped for you. But anytime you're in this kind of situation, whether it's severe winds from straight line winds from thunderstorms or you are in a tornado situation, Always great to stay away from the glass uh, walls and windows, doors, and the door walls, that kind of thing. And you want to get to the center of the house, put as many walls between you as possible. Smallest room, lowest level, basement is always best if you can get underground. And then you, if there is debris and damage, then you don't have to worry about it so much uh, that way. So that's the safety measure of what's going on. Put it in motion one more time, and you see the progression uh, from west to east here of the storm. There's still some intensity to this for sure, but again, the rotating area of the storm is now finally starting to move out over the lake. So Applegate, you had a tough go of it. Now you're in the clear in terms of further activity there. Port Sanilac looks like you're going to be spared. The worst of this uh, just off to the south. Lexington and just to the north, even though you have some strong action that way as well. I'll, I'll stop this here and we'll zoom in one more time and see if we can take a peek inside the storm in terms of the velocity here. And uh, yep, there's the core in this area. The stronger winds are the, actually the brighter colors here, but we're looking for the area where it's the bright next to the red. So this whole rotating area is moving offshore and that's good news. So again, a couple of minutes here, uh, very, very likely that we'll get the warning to drop. It's issued until 345 or 343. And also we see the core of the storm that with the rotational part anyway, uh, moving out. We'll put it back to radar so you can see what's going on. And actually, let's do this. Let's put a little hail indicator on there. And we're not seeing any in that. There you go. So that's the path. As it came to the south of Applegate, these areas that are these brighter colors working through here. And if you watch one more sweep of the radar, you'll see a little bright flash out here as well. That's where the storm is strongest now. So in this area around and just south of Applegate, uh, most likely areas for some hail. And you see again, a real big hot spot out here over the water as that scan came through and moved away. That's not a concern for anybody on land anymore because the storm is moving to the east northeast. But this is the area of main concern uh, as we look at the hail uh, that was likely coming down with this storm as well. So now the core of the storm is out over the lake. The rotational part has moved offshore and we'll let this go for another uh, minute or so here. You see the clock just tick uh, to make sure we're in good shape. While that's going, uh, we can watch that red box for Sanilac County, which I'm feeling a lot better about now. Uh, notice also the St. Clair County warning has been lifted. Uh, storms weakening a bit there. The, the warning for Sanilac County in terms of the thunderstorm warning is there simply because of the storm that we've been talking about with the tornado warning. So that will likely go away very, very soon. You can see hardly any activity in Sanilac County now with the exception of the tornadic storm that has moved out over the lake. And again, feeling better too about what's going on in Monroe. Uh, areas are moving out over the lake there. This is the main concern. This was the main threat that we were watching. Talked to you yesterday to be done about eight. Then this morning looked like it'd be done about six. 
and now most of this is done around four. You can see more development back here to the southwest, kind of use your dot-to-dot -dot skills between Lansing and Howe up here by Flint into the Thumb. Uh, there could be some more activity, but it should not be anywhere near the intensity here that we have going on here. So just a couple of seconds here as we turn to 345, and again, you see the warning go away for Sanilac County, not only the tornado warning, uh, but also the severe thunderstorm warning. Still hanging on, uh, just because we are doing this, I'll show you what's going on. Still hanging on to the uh, warning in Monroe County, but that should get out of here real soon too. Let's just go down and take a peek at what's going on in that area and see happening. Uh, so yeah, the action is out over the water here now. Southwest Ontario, again, you're getting it popped for a while still, but everything's moving offshore here in uh, Monroe County. So uh, one more spot here. There we go. And uh, we'll put it in motion. You'll see things are improving rapidly. So the tornado warning, the severe thunderstorm warning is over for Sanilac County. Uh, the Monroe County area, even though technically the warning's still on the map there, you're getting better by the minute as things move offshore. And the bulk of the nastiness for today is done. We will watch. There'll probably be some development still to come through here, but it should not be nearly as intense. Of course, we're starting our broadcast here in about 14 minutes at 4 o'clock. On Channel 7, we'll have a review of what's going on and look forward to the forecast there to see if there's more action this evening. But again, the intensity should not be what we've had to deal with so far. We'll do some investigation into Sanilac County, have more information to you coming up at 4 o'clock about any confirmation or concern or damage with those winds and the tornadic possibility there. We'll get you back to programming. We'll see you at 4 o'clock.